and the Oscar goes to Green Book. Shocker. The most anticipated and hard to call category, Green Book, crowned best picture last night at the Oscars and just the morning after, the unexpected award is already getting a little pushback we're seeing. Uh, once again this morning, we have the director of the Fort Myers Film Festival, Eric Raddick, back in the studio for a post-Oscar analysis. Thanks for being here. Great to be here. Was it a yeah. shocker? Were you it, shocked? It Green was, shocker. and there was even in the room, there was kind of disruption, and almost like air kind of like, <gasps> like that, I like think. A riot. Yeah, and I think Good Spike voice. Lee, he, he even kind of got up and tried to leave. <laughs> and, yeah, that's what I heard. And who well, knows what else. Let me go back real quick, because we had you on the show on Friday, and you had predicted who... Or the what, favorite. I thought the favorite would win. The favorite. But... Second I would think figured Roma. Yeah. I really didn't put Green Green uh, Book in there. Uh, I mean, even Black Panther uh -huh. or Star is Born. I kind of would, probably would have put ahead of it. So it was kind of a surprise. But the Oscars always do that. And it's exciting. You know, they there was so much excitement in the air. This, the, 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 while there's pushback, the fact that it took place, the fact that we were getting excited about films. Uh, there was electric uh, lead up to it. Uh, I, I tuned in for the whole thing and the whole red carpet. And so these moments will be pushed, but there's always pushback when there's sure. something fantastic that's being done. And that the fact that it's 91 years, uh, there's always going to be people who complain. And I think the Academy is responsive to a lot of these complaints, a lot mm -hmm. of the pushback. Uh, sure. uh, you know, for example, you know, Oscar So White was a thing a few years right. back. Now, not, not that way. Um, that the thought that they were going to give away some of the awards during these uh, during the commercials. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, yeah. they took, they were responsive to that. They said, well, you know, maybe we should change them. And I think it was, so, so what you're seeing is this response to, uh, to the concerns, the creative concerns. And I think that says a lot about the Academy and about this, uh, about this show. I read that uh, um, Green Book was the worst best picture winner since Crash. <laughs> now, I didn't. I didn't see the movie. I didn't see the movie. So yeah. I'm, I'm curious if it was. Well, if it was I, best picture. Best picture worthy. Uh, you know, it, 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 yeah. I mean, it was it was controversial in many respects too. A lot of yeah. people thought that at the tail end, the reasons why there was some uh, uh, the, there was some pushback uh, was because of the kind of the white person's view mm -hmm. of kind of a, of a world and of the world then and, and from a from a black and then and so you're going to get some of the controversy of it. And do people think it's a, it should be entertaining? Do people think that it should be um, cr creatively the best picture? Everything's subjective when it comes to art. So I don't think it'd be. I don't think I would go off to say that it should not have been. Uh, given an award or should yeah. have been nominated or that it was the worst because what's best and worst really uh, to those who, who were involved uh, fair, Farley uh, and, and all the actors who did, who did a great Vigo, uh, Mar Marshala, uh, mm -hmm. they, 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 they came through with a fantastic picture. Uh, I think up against the others though, I think even Star, Star is Born was better, Black yeah. Panther was better. I certainly loved the favorite more and I really thought Rome was going to get it. Speaking of actors, you said that Rami Malek would win. He did for Best Actor. Um, I don't think that anybody was really surprised or disappointed in that. Absolutely, and it's like he's like we spoke of before. Uh, he he saw everyone saw it coming. He gave a performance of a lifetime, yes. and uh, his acceptance speech at, at speech at the end makes it a good reason why we should still have acceptance speeches at the end, because uh, <laughs> his was very inspirational. As he talked about uh, coming uh, first generation mm -hmm. American citizen, yeah. uh, being uh, parents uh, Egyptian born immigrants who came here. Uh, it was very moving. Uh, although a lot of people say these these acceptance speeches sometimes they go on too long, and I think that's interesting. We had no host this year, uh -huh. but we were still. 17 minutes over. <laughs> go yeah. figure. You know, my son's watching the Ellen show in the other, other room where they had this, if they get the answer wrong, they go through a trap door. And I thought maybe we should combine. <laughs> right. the, the, I was like, if you bring out the list and you start going through the list, trap door, Go straight I to the like segment. It. Not not the music. Not even giving the music. Just straight to the <laughs> trap door. Because uh, some were unprepared. They were totally unprepared. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How do you get to yeah. the place where you're going to win an Oscar and you don't know what you're going to oh, say? That would God. be me. I guess it's because it's overwhelmed. I guess maybe it's yeah. very natural, overwhelming. But uh, it's easy to forget your spouse. <laughs> <laughs> Tell that to your spouse. You I also you also talked about uh, Olivia Coleman winning Best Actress. Glenn um, was what so did close. You, what did you think about that? I mean, Glenn Close was I thought the favorite for. She uh, was definitely a favorite, and that's going to go down as one of the moments that uh, well it's a shocker and I think even Olivia Coleman uh, she was shocked she I don't was, I don't yeah. think she even prepared a speech I yeah. think she really yeah. realized that if it's not going uh, to Glenn Close it's probably going to Gaga right. and everyone would agree so it kind of now she did a, she did an amazing performance and the favorite was probably my favorite film of, of next to Buster Scruggs uh, which I love the Coen brothers but uh, so so yeah. we shouldn't be surprised that she was awarded because she did a fantastic job but she was kind of overshadowed by some of the nominations Rachel Weisz and big yeah. fan of Emma Stone uh, but the fact that she got uh, uh, she got it. I think she was just as shocked as everyone. And it also tells you that you don't have to be an Oscar uh, winning uh, actress to be a fantastic actress. Hopefully when Glenn Close went home, she, re 
she took a look in the mirror and said, I'm good enough and I'm smart enough. <laughs> People love me. And, uh, and there's a lot of satisfaction that comes from winning the awards. Sure. And I think there's always going to be a discussion about the fact that she didn't win. She was only nominated, but that's enough. And being good close is better than being an Oscar winner. Right. She's Glenn Close. Yes, absolutely. And I think that's the way she has to look at it. We all need to look at it. But there's, you can't award them all. And in a way, they're all, they're all winners because they were nominated. Sure. Right? And Marsha Hala Ali. I mm -hmm. hope I said his name right. Someone called me out on Facebook for calling that one wrong. But he won for Best Actor. And then also another big category was the music. Yes. Which, of course, I don't think that was a surprise at all. In fact, that performance is still trending this morning. Yeah. And, and I think uh, and, and if you look at what kind of music we saw during the night, uh, I think that a lot of people are talking about Gaga yeah. and uh, mm -hmm. Bradley Cooper. And it was such a tender moment. And, it is, and, it, and while it was an overly politicized award show, I, think, I don't think it was by any means. There was some uh, tw twinklings of it. I think people do want to react to those moments like we saw those performances. Even Adam Lambert with Queen at the beginning, yeah. just to put yeah, that together, cool. you may not like him as a frontman as much as Freddie Mercury, but that's comparing to Freddie Mercury. Right. Right? <laughs> but they, <laughs> they started off there rocking it. People were enthusiastic. It was a great show. I think it was one of the best Oscar shows we've seen. I agree. And I think that, uh, the, that uh, but people will be re-watching stuff like Gaga Cooper playing because it was just so it's intimate. It's Cuckoo Gaga. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> that's, what, that's what it's being. That's isn't what that, I'm calling isn't it. Isn't that a cereal? I just, I just came up with Gaga. I thought Cuckoo it was like Gaga. a cereal, like a Cocoa Puffs cereal. <laughs> Cocoa Puffs. I'm but sure they ate a bowl of that as inspiration Maybe. and then went into the shallow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what, what, they, what they did was was beautiful yeah. and just oh, great. you yeah. can't recreate it. And, and Gaga is such a performer, oh, yeah. and by her her acceptance speech was very moving as well. Mm -hmm. You could also tell she's given speeches uh, at when she took the award. She yeah. quickly uh -huh. got all the people out of the way, had something remarkable for, that was very humble to say, and uh, it certainly uh, she, she she accepted it with stride. But but uh, there was a lot of winners, and uh, even the ones who may feel like losers still are winners. And it's you know when you think about elevating the purpose of mm -hmm. what film can do, mm -hmm. we're talking about things we might not have talked about before. Right. Uh, we're, we're having an appreciation for other people's points of views, even though we don't always agree with it. And we're enjoying and seeing and learning uh, history, yeah. we're learning how people interact, we're learning how creative processes take place, and then what can be achieved uh, when you come together and you actually make a film. And it can, it's a lot. That's one of cinema's biggest missions overall over the last hundred years is really do, delving into what you just spoke about as well. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Eric, you go back to 1950 and all kinds of stuff. Thank you so much for being oh, here. We pleasure. appreciate cool. it. Anytime. And it was a great Oscars night. We'll, uh, we'll look forward to I, it. I missed next. you at the party, though, but uh, uh, I know. It's okay. Next this, year, it's on again. That 1 a.m. wake up call just gets us every time. <laughs> I thought about just pulling an all nighter. I know. Uh, I, I texted you twice and uh, I didn't hear, get her back from you. Is that who that was? That was me. I know you <laughs> put me in your phone. I thought it was my Uber driver. Uh, coming up next on More in the Morning, is your dog starting to become more like you?